global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Edo Decide Edo 2020 is just by the corner and PDP, APC, all other parties have geared up their, their campaign to ensure that their candidates take the day. But there's a twist in the matter as Obaseki and his deputy Philip Shaibu may have one heavy taxing tax to overcome and it's not a funny one as apc in collaboration with him sen senior advocate of nigeria chief wally olani pekun and four other sons have increased their tempo to prove to the whole world and to prove to nigerians that obaseki is carrying forged certificate that means all is not yet done on that issue of certificate forgery but before we go into the news proper and further analysis we do love you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and beside it you see a bell notification icon go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel okay let's go straight into the news of the day the last has not been heard of the moves to make sure golden obaseki is not re-elected as the governor of Edo State in the forthcoming Edo governorship elections. Obaseki and his deputy, Philip Shaibu, may still have one more hurdle to navigate through as foremost lawyer and senior advocate of Nigeria, San Chief Wale Olani Pekun is leading four other sons in cases of certificate forgery and perjury and perjury instituted against the duo. The All Progressive Congress, APC, and a member of the party, Mr. Edobo Williams, instituted the cases against Obasiki and Shaibu at the Federal High Court in Benin City, Edo State capital apc and williams are asking the federal high court to disqualify the governor and his deputy from participating in the september 19 governorship election in the state as well as prevent the party the people's democratic party pdp from feuding any candidate in the election mm. We proceed. Obaseki and Shaibu, who are contesting the election on the platform of PDP, had contested and won the governorship election in 2016 under APC. There was no forgery then. Let's continue. In two separate suits filed against them, the plaintiffs want the court to stop Obaseki and Shaibu from participating in the election for allegedly lying on oath and submitting false documents to INEC to aid their qualifications in the forthcoming elections. According to them, the alleged offenses of the defendants run contrary to the provisions of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended and the punishment is automatic disqualification. The plaintiffs are also asking the court to bar the PDP from participating or representing itself in the September 19 governorship election for sponsoring ineligible candidates. In the first in the first suit marked FHC forward slash B forward slash CS forward slash 74 forward slash 2020, which has Obasiki. PDP and INEC as first, second, and third respondents, respectively. The plaintiffs want the court to hold that Obasiki lied on oath in his INEC form CF001 submitted in aid of his qualification. In other suit marked FHC forward slash B forward slash CS forward slash 75 forward slash 2020, which has Shaibu. PDP and INEC as first, second, and third respondent, respectively. The plaintiffs, apart from accusing Shaibo of also parading false academic documents, but also want him disqualified for presenting forged tax clar clar clearance certificate to INEC in 2006 in aid of his qualification for the 2007 House of Assembly election in Edo State in 2007. The plaintiffs claimed disparities in alleged forgery in Shaibu's work results 
also adding that Shaibu claimed that he obtained a Master of Business Administration MBA from the University of Benin in 2012 was also false. Mm. But while the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC has released the final list of candidates eligible to participate in the September 19th governorship election in a do state. Now that is the news. But let's look at this. This is very serious. But let's look at this. Let's quickly look at some of these guys. The report has it that the list of governorship candidates published includes uh at the 19 local government areas of the state shows that the incumbent governor got rid of Basuki the, and the candidate of People's Democratic Party PDP will slug it out with Pastor Easy Yamo of all progressive candidates APC and 12 other candidates. That's for those who did not uh, bother to join uh, Basuki because some party members actually decamped and they said they are going to bring down their candidates so that they can forge all their votes and give it to the present uh, governor who also is uh, the incumbent governor as we speak now now looks as if uh, uh, this, uh, this is taking a, a new so that's the news basically but let's look at this an analytically and see how uh, basic will come out of this without being on scratch don't forget that that was still the same thing the same reason really basically that they used against disqualifying screening out of basically in apc uh, that's the same certificate they used you know in, in the first election that brought him in as a governor that then the certificate was not forged it was perfect there was no even any need for them to begin to go through her certificate screening of certificate verification as the case may be but as soon as Obaseke had problems with um, uh, Adams and Shomale, there was now need to begin to check how true is Obaseke's um, certificate or how true is his uh, NYS so many things came up and the, the screening body the uh, ABC screening uh, body party a committee screened out the incumbent governor saying that he has a fake certificate forged certificate of which uh, NYSC came and debunked it University of Ibadan which everyone knows as a premier most Nigerians know them as a premier university age-long university I tell you one of some of the professors there they are ready they don't play with that name University of Ibadan <laughs> come out from that school it's enough it's enough uh, uh, advertisement of its own it's been there for years. Came out again and said, look, we issued that certificate to Basiki. And we are saying that he was our student and that certificate is from University of Ibadan. Honor it and allow him to use it wherever he deems fit in as much as the certificate is used as qualifying factor. What other thing again? What? <laughs> I don't understand. If the school says it's okay, NYC say indeed he went through the uh, true camp and they, they know him, he served Nigeria uh, to, uh, meritoriously. So why are we still on the forgery certificate thing? I said that's not all. They're now saying due to this uh, disparities in names, he has corrected them. He has gone to swear for David. Okay, if it's because of the shortened name, we have they have corrected it all. All the institutions they used, you know, to, to go for verification, all came out and did they, they quickly, uh, you know, verified him, endorsing him that of a truth on this basis of uh, clarification of certificates. It's true, his certificates are real and we issued them. Why the issue of forgery again? And, no, 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 no. This, you can imagine four sons and one leading the pack. And APC not, not only stopping, they don't only want to stop the incumbent governor, uh, incumbent governor, but they also do not want PDP to field any candidate. Now, let's look at it from the other side. Fairly recently, an elderly old man's video was trending virtually in the whole of social media, where he was singing praises to God win a shouting, God now, God don't win, which means God win, God don't win for a do state. And he practically didn't have nice words to say about Adam Sushomale concerning her pensions and all that. And he was just hoping that Obase, uh, God win, we win, as God don't win for a do. And the slogan has almost become normal in a do state now, where people begin to shout, they now chant, I don't know, be Lagos. It's almost everywhere. I do people know. I don't know, but let's be real. If you want to play politics, going back to begin to, that's the same uh, um, pattern. They led APC. We are APC. In one day, had four chairman. <laughs> 
four chairman national chair in one day four this court comes this court go this court go. in one day four chairman image now they're about to bring it in trying to make this a whole joke and mockery now the whole issue of forgery for certificate has been let's do away with it if you ask me let's go into the polls let's see how what holds let a dope truly decide if the best rigor will take the day let's still know by september 19. this whole issue of uh, uh, uh what well, let's that's i guess that's another tactics because politics is a game you know for matured minds i guess this is another tactics they are trying to play to delay to see if tomorrow if he wins they'll begin to bring out the issue of the suit of the fact that uh, he had issues with certificate i don't know how this will play out but this is justice what's your take on this i feel for me i feel this is dead on arrival that's my personal opinion though dead on arrival because the schools involved the institution involved you know basic certificate all proved that he went through that school and those institutions so why bring out it should drag issues with that none that's what we're going to wrap it up let's meet in a conversation what's your take on this this is my take i feel that the set the, the whole certificate forgery thing is now dead on arrival i think we should move straight to the polls and see who takes the day of course if the best rigor will rig better then or if the do people will truly decide they will allow the do people to truly decide to september 19 will let us know that don't forget to like share and stay tuned for more updates on